All right, so what's your name and where are you from? My name's Thomas Kiefer. I'm from Columbus, Indiana. Awesome. Um, so what got you interested in aviation, Thomas? Yeah, I got interested in aviation when I was really little. Um, I found a, an old book that I had written in second grade and it said, when I get older, I want to become a pilot because you get to go fast and planes are loud. So from then on, I just fell in love with air, airplanes and knew that's what I wanted to do for a living. My name's Rusty. I started on a grass strip in north central Illinois. Uh, it was owned by two brothers who kept that place going for 50 straight years. It was a Cessna dealership, an FBO, and a Harley dealership all under one roof. And I learned in a champ, um, no electrical system, no starter. It was, it was pretty basic flying. It was a good way to start. But I was the first one really in my my family who, who was interested in it. My dad later soloed the same airplane that I did uh, several years later, so I got him into it also. It's a little bit, um, maybe, it requires a little more concentration, a little more effort to keep it going where it needs to go. Not everybody can do it, not everybody does, and very few people do it anymore. Uh, I just, I just enjoy the, the, that tailwind. So that's the Cessna 195. I've owned it since 2006, and uh, there were about 1,200 of them built. Um, there's probably about a third of those flying today. It's got a 275 Jacobs radial engine. Cessna's first uh, all-metal and Cessna's first uh, strutless uh, airplane. And uh, it's a big heavy tail wheel airplane, round motor, like I said. It's got a lot of ramp appeal and it's just fun to fly, especially on grass. Uh, that's what it loves the best. A lot of the most fun we have are going to visit different grass strips. Several of our friends are farmers or aviation enthusiasts and they've built their own runway in a hay field or next to their house and just planted 3,000 feet of grass that anybody's welcome to come land on. So any Saturday or Sunday you'll find several of the other pilots out hopping around between those strips and usually just go pick a strip to fly to and see who's there. So GA is amazing to me because the community is so strong. You know, everyone has totally different, vast levels of experience, from super inexperienced student pilots to really experienced ATPs and tailwheel pilots. And the community all comes together to help keep people safe and have fun and just enjoy and have a good time.
Piper Cub we're flying is from built in 1940. So this this is the 80th year of that airplane flying, and I, I just think that is a true testament of how good of an airplane it really was. And so many people learned to fly the Piper Cub uh, before going into World War II. I mean, we sent so many people out to go fight fight in World War II, and they learned their stick and rudder skills from a Cub, and ended up transitioning into a, a P-51 Mustang or a B-17. So. What the Piper Cub has done to aviation is incredible. I mean, it's it's produced so many pilots and really made a lot of pilots sharp with their stick and rudder skills. Even today, throw someone in a Cub, have them fly a Piper Cub, and fly just about anything. When I when I bump up against other pilots that fly for a living, and I try to describe that to them, if they don't have any experience with it, it's it's a lost cause. So if I tell them that I go to the local airport on my days off, they they look at me like I'm crazy. They're like why would I do such a thing? But the reason I enjoy it is because it, it reminds me, if nothing else, it reminds me of why I fell in love with flying in the first place. My favorite part about flying is probably just the community of people. Um, yeah, I just really think there's nothing else like it. You go up to Oshkosh and just meet so many people with so much experience and a variety of different types of flying and, and just you really become like a family. I mean, everyone I met at Purdue and, and through the airlines, and I've never had such good friends together um, that share like a common love for something like aviation. So that's definitely my favorite.